Okay, oh my god. You know how everything gets stored on the internet? Well, it so happens I made a website many years ago and I am just looking at that uh, visual disaster right at this moment. I don't know if I should show it to you. Um, if I should promise that you won't stop watching this video because I have improved my skills a lot since then. <laughs> um, I don't know, what is up with this? What was I thinking? There's all different fonts, nothing is aligned with the colors. Um, taking the word eclectic to a whole new level. Um, today, this video is sponsored by Wix. I'm going to show you how you can build your professional website. And uh, okay, so yes, I have improved a lot of my graphic design skills, uh, but I'm the first one to admit like those things don't come very naturally to me. Uh, so I'm going to share some tips and how you can build a professional website. So let's get right into it. And please forget that you ever saw that thing. <laughs> To build your own uh, professional website, you can go to wix.com slash go slash kudvakika uh, and check it out. And I really like Wix, they have so many beautiful templates, so I got really inspired and I took a long time <laughs> deciding which template to use because I think it's so important that you choose the right one for you. Um, and then you can just uh, try them out and kind of play around with it. And also, because I have made websites before, uh, I know you can get into this kind of limbo of just like editing and trying out things and not really having a plan for it. So this time I was smarter and I first mapped out on post-its and I planned my website how I wanted it to look. Um, and I, the keys or like, what do you call it? Like principles <laughs> that I followed was to try to keep it simple. And I didn't want to have more than like five or six of those uh, pages, like menu pages uh, on it and really just kind of the most important things that people will find out what I'm about and what kind of work I do and also if people want to work with me. That is kind of the top things. And then I hope uh, this year that I can also set my own uh, shop up and sell my own products. So that is kind of all very exciting. Uh, <laughs> so uh, just having your own professional website is, I think is so important. Also in this day and age, like if you want to become a freelancer or have your own brand or you know, like that is, I think, the first thing that people will look up online. Do you have a website? Does it look professional or not? Um, and I think people tend to judge you on that. So obviously having social media, that is kind of on point, uh, but I don't think that is really enough, uh, especially if you want to do like client work and brands or, or have your own shop. Um, so yeah, let's get right into it. <laughs> So obviously step one is to just kind of figure out what you want your website to be. Is it more like a portfolio or a shop or a blog? And then you can choose the according template. They have so many nice templates as I already mentioned. Um, so really get inspired and soak up, kind of like have a vision or a plan for what kind of website you will have. Um, and yeah, I just spent so long time to obsess about this because they're all just so nice. Um, and then when you've chosen your template, basically it's just, you can customize it endlessly. I really like this about Wix that you can basically move around all the items, all the things like text and images. And what is so, so crucial is that they have these like uh, guidelines or these rulers and grids that will help you so you can align everything. Um, I am the first to admit, I'm not great at graphic design. I can kind of see when things are off, but I sometimes don't really know like, why is it off? Um, so having lots of like negative space, making sure that elements are aligned, um, you know, so things aren't like all crooked and weird. Um, those things will just make it look so much more professional. And then here, if you go into add, then there's all these like so many things that you can add, like basically anything you will need, like videos, images, text, uh, like a gallery, buttons, uh, social music, like, I don't know what all these things even are, store, blog, bookings. So it's really, you know, whatever your needs are, um, it's already in the platform, which is just makes it so, so much more convenient um, to do all those things. So here I am adding a video for my YouTube channel. So you just go to add and video, and then you change the link to the video you want it to link to, and then that will appear on your website. I feel like it's really intuitive to use the Wix editor. Um, and here you can see like, for example, the menus and pages, you can just add as many pages as you want here and then you can make them into like sub pages. So when somebody clicks on the menu bar, then there will be like sub pages, kind of looks like professional and cool and you can kind of have like sub pages. Uh, yeah, 
I said that already. <laughs> For my website, I decided to keep it quite simple. And so I've chosen to go with pages like home, then I have a gallery page, then I have photo tips, one that is work with me, and then an about page. And so my plan is to have kind of home, just landing page, like, hello, I'm Kika, and kind of my usual stuff, like introducing myself, who I am. Um, and then I'll have my gallery page where I put like the best photos I have so people can at a glance kind of see what I'm about. Uh, and then in photo tips, because I have so many photo tips, uh, I have blog posts, blog posts from before um, that I want to include in there. And then also these YouTube videos kind of to have them like at a different platform than just YouTube. I think it's nice to have them on my own website, then work with me, show some like client work um, and then like an about page with just gonna be like contact info and then maybe some frequently asked questions um, and that is kind of it and then I can add to it but just kind of have like first a simple base one really cool thing you can do here in the Wix uh, editor is that you can connect it to your Instagram account so then it will show the Instagram kind of your feed on your web page on all of the pages I decided uh, I wanted to have it like that which is so so good so you don't have to have uh, kind of those little small social links that probably nobody ever clicks. I don't know, <laughs> but you can actually have the your actual photos in there as well. Another really cool thing that I very much appreciate as a very visual person is that you can basically customize the gallery in endless ways and choose between different layouts. So depending on what kind of photos you have or what it is that you want to display, you can go in there, customize it to the spaces between the photos and the format. Um, and I'm still not completely decided which one will be best for me, but I chose the grid gallery for now because it kind of looks a bit like my Instagram gallery. So that kind of, I felt make, made sense to me. Also, why am I standing up? Uh, this is like very weird. I'm like holding my laptop at the moment. Uh. <laughs> On my website, I use quite a lot of my photos because that is kind of what I want to display. Uh, so before I imported all the images into uh, the website and to Wix, I went ahead and resized all of them down a little bit because otherwise if you have like really big files, uh, it will just take forever to download that website. And that is very frustrating for people who want to come and visit my website. Uh, so I made them all around like uh, 1200 pixels by 1000 pixels, like around uh, not more than really one or 1.2 megabyte just to make sure that it's not gonna be like super slow when it uploads So one big mistake that I've done before is I've just had like all kinds of different fonts But that is so important that you have I think like maximum two I mean, I'm not a graphic designer But I would say like one or maximum two different fonts on your website So it all just ties in together nicely and looks more cohesive I was kind of pondering for a while if I should just have Kutuva Kik as text or if I should use my logo in the header. And in the end, at least at the moment, I'm having my logo in like the title or the header um, just because I have this logo that I've done. I think it's really nice. And then I also use this kind of very blush uh, pale pink in other places as well on my website just to make it all tie together in nicely. All right, I'm not gonna lie. I spent a long time building this website and really trying to perfect all the details. I hope I'll have the courage to actually press publish by the time this video airs. So I have uh, the domain kutovahiko.com from before, so I just connected that to my website and you can go and check it out uh, below if you'd like to see it. And if you'd like to build your own professional website with Wix, you can go to wix.com slash go slash kutovakika and try it out for free. All right, I think that is it. I hope you found this video useful and uh, I was gonna say informational again, informative, useful and informative. Um, and let me know in the comments below if you have any website ideas or something you'd like to build your own website for. I'm really curious to hear that. Yeah, Bella, do you also want your own website? <laughs> All right, uh, and if you'd like to see more of my stuff, come and say hi. I'm over at Kutubakik on Instagram. All right, see you next week. Thanks, bye. There's a bee in my bonnet, hello, hello, a bee in my bonnet, hello. There's a bee in my bonnet, hello, hello, a bee in my bonnet, hello.